Hi, I'm Sarah Lynn, a self-proclaimed neat freak conquering clutter one space at a time. And today I am tidying up one of the most notoriously messy spaces in the house, the pantry. Now we all know the kitchen is the heart of the home, but often the secret to keeping it clean and clutter free is actually tucking everything away inside the pantry. And because most pantries are tucked away behind closed doors, it's easy for things to get out of hand quickly. So this family asked me to help get their pantry sorted for good. Here's how I did it. First up, I stocked up on some amazing containers. So flat containers like these stack really easily and really maximize vertical space within the pantry. You can use them to store things like grain, cereal, rice, and nuts. My chef friends all prefer these squared off plastic food pans. You've probably seen them if you've ever been into a restaurant kitchen. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but they all end up using the same one or two lids. So if you break one or lose one, they're very easy to replace. Now they are priced at a bit of a premium at restaurant supply stores, but I definitely believe the benefits are worth it. Now I took everything I could out of boxes and placed them in these containers. It's always a good idea to make sure you cut out your cooking instructions and tape them to the top of your container to make sure you don't forget how to make them. And the best part is these containers are clear so you can see what's inside and we all know that we are more likely to eat what we see instead of ordering takeout. Soup, sauces, spices, and canned goods can be a little hard to organize because they come in so many different shapes and sizes. In order to keep everything visible and well organized, I went ahead and created these really simple steps for inside the pantry. To do it, I just used some wood that I found at the hardware store. You'll need to purchase six identical pieces. First, I'm going to use some wood glue to secure three of the pieces in place. That's going to be my first step. Next, I'll do two pieces, and then finally, I'll have my single piece. Once they're all in the pantry, you can see they create the perfect steps to put all of your jars and cans on. Now, everything is visible, and there's no rummaging around for something in the very back. My next tip is always keeping the kids in mind. This homeowner has four children and they are all responsible for getting themselves fed in the morning and packing their snacks for school. With that in mind, I organized the lower shelves with some essentials and labeled them accordingly. Now everything is super accessible and perfect for the kids to just grab and go. In the next cupboard, I got creative by using some common household items not often seen in the kitchen to get things organized. To start, I used these simple toy storage bins to organize my heartier vegetables, things like potatoes and onions that all should be stored in the pantry. Then I used these magazine holders to organize this family's party supplies. So things like paper plates and napkins just slide right in. Finally, I used a really simple office clipboard hung with a little bit of Velcro to create this amazing shopping list that the family can use to jot down anything they need during their next shopping trip. Keeping a list like this ensures that you are only buying what you need, which inevitably makes for more organized shopping and a more organized pantry. Now the messiest part of a lot of pantries, including my own, are the plastic and reusable bags that tend to accumulate. And because they're all different shapes, sizes, materials, and colors, the visual clutter tends to add up quickly. So I created a little DIY solution to help solve this problem. All I did was take these inexpensive crates, put them together, and then drill a little hole into them. The idea is that you can pull the bags out one by one, very similar to the way a tissue box works. I filled the first one with all of my plastic bags and in the second one, I neatly folded all of my reusable bags so I can just pull them through the slats. And there you have it, a beautifully organized pantry designed to inspire delicious meals and encourage healthy snacking for the whole family. I really hope that these ideas help you rethink the possibilities in your own pantry. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.